Hey, what's up, everybody? Now, today we're gonna check out the Masterverse Snout Spout. This bitch just came out, but a couple days ago. And luckily for me, Mattel knows I like my shit fast. So I just got that shit in the mail today. But right here, you can see the mail of box. And then right in the mail of box, you get this box right there with some nice box art. Now, you open that bitch up, and you got this box cover right here with Snout Spout fighting a big ass snake. Shit looks all right. The heroic water blast and firefighter. This is one massive Masterverse figure. I'm not into too many Masterverses, but this shit looks good. Right there, you flip that bitch around, and you got two big ass statues of King Hiss and Lady Slither. And then you open up that one box, and this is all the pieces that comes with the figure. Oh, I love accessories, and this shit looks pretty good. We're gonna end up putting it together on the figure, because right now his ass is a little naked. He ain't complete. But with the power of editing, let's get his ass fixed. And there he is, folks. A complete Masterverse Snout Spout. Starting off at the bottom, boots look good. I love them extra hoses and little dye on the front. And this nice little piss stream coming out the nose and shit. You see that shit? Let me clear it up. There it is. There it is. That shit looks all right. I wish it would have been a little bit bigger. But hey, you get what you get. Other than that, I love that big ass axe. You see that little baby snout spout looking up at him. I'm gonna have to do something about that. We're gonna do that in a minute. But this fucking face. Oh my god, that shit looks good. From the tusks on that motherfucker, the big ass robotic ears. He's got a medicine look. And right here next to Butterface E Man, your ass can see just how much bigger he is compared to his ass. It's all in the head. You know what I'm saying? God, I hate that fucking face on that Butterface E Man. But that's a comparison height. And then right here on the back of the body. Oh, I love how they got them hoses connected to the belt. And then they got the different levels of water. You know what I'm saying? That shit looks detailed and I love it. Right past the nice ass shoulder pads, you got the holes going right into the back of the head. Where if you shine a light up in that bitch, the eyes will glow. But yep, this motherfucker is detailed. And I love the way he looks. But you know what? I really wish I had it. Origins version in that style. So we're gonna have to upgrade my Origins version. And here it is, folks. We got the upgraded Snout Spout Origins Deluxe figure. And what I did is I added some straps on the arms, on the leg. Look, that one don't know what to do. He's embarrassed and shit. Because this is far superior than the standard Origins version. I ended up keeping on the uh, Origins vest, but added them shoulder pads. Like I said, I put the straps on the legs. And on the arms. And then that fucking head is went right on there like butter. Nice and easy. I cut the hoses down a little bit. Them bitches was too long for an origin figure. And then right there, his axe. The origin axe easily goes on the back. You see that shit? And with them hoses, I cut them down like 13 notches. You know what I'm saying? To connect them in. The hose on the head, I didn't cut that bitch down at all. That shit looks perfect. This is just how I want to keep... My origin snout spout. And to be honest with you folks, this is the only reason I ordered this snout spout figure was to make his ass look like that. I'm not really into the uh, Masterverse line, but if they release one where I can work some magic and shit, oh, best believe, I'm gonna do my abracadabra. And that's what I did on this motherfucker. Look, he done took He-Man's liquor and shit. You can put that shit right in the nose right there. And he just drinks that shit up. Snout spout, folks, an excellent looking figure. Even if you don't like Masterverse, he's worth it. Because at the end of the day, you can hook your origin figure up and make him look like that. That is the most superior snout spout head I've ever seen. I love the medicine look on his ass, and I highly recommend the upgrade to anybody that's interested. But right there, folks, we got something else to go over. And that's all I got to say about his ass. And right now, it's time to go over which one of y'all won the Rock On Giveaway. Now, I put it in the randomizer. All the comments that was left in that video. And folks, we definitely got a winner today. And that winner is Collector Phil. Yo ass won. All you gotta do is email me. It's in the uh, description of the channel. And your ass will get a rock on. But I wanna do something nice. So I went back to my previous comments and I found a couple motherfuckers that didn't get a rock on. So if you're one of these two people right here, your ass got a chance to win. Go ahead and email me, and I'll hook your ass up too. First one gets it. Now, in the worst case scenario, 
if one of them motherfuckers don't hit me up, and especially the person that won, I'm gonna go back and do it again. So y'all got four days to hit my ass up. I appreciate everybody. And that's what I do around here. I love spreading the love. And I got plenty more love to spread, folks. I got another giveaway for channel members. Giving away a mouse troll tomorrow. Because tomorrow's my birthday, folks. And I got two videos that come in tomorrow. Two reviews I cannot wait to go over. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, folks. And if you like what you saw, do my ass a favor and drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It ain't gonna hurt you, is it? Come on now. Go ahead and hit the button. I know you have to hit the button. Hit that goddamn button. Drop a like. All right, I'm out of here.